helpful. There's a lot of people leaving, so most of the houses are probably empty, but another unit would be helpful. system with the county and if something like this happens and they just send out messages and so your phone rings and there's all the info so it was telling us that there was a severe fire going on and prepare to evacuate we had the uh, the fire in April and had to evacuate and thought okay that was it for this season and then this happened today so here we go again what's it like when you're packing up your most prized possessions and your pet like what's what's going through your mind well we got so much stuff i mean you just grab you know things as quick as you can and start i think from here on we're going to have to just keep like a suitcase and a few other things so we can just grab and go we have the devil wind <laughs> so uh yeah i expect uh, to see that well out right it's where scary. we are right here we get really high winds because the valley like from this direction, it narrows, and the wind, if it's blowing this direction, then it really picks up through here, but there's other times when the wind is blowing really hard going that way. So we get it all ways, and, and we do get very high winds here. And so that really makes it a lot worse for the fires. That's that why mean, I call it the devil wind. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Thank you to the firefighters, Yes. the police, you guys, everybody yeah. that keep us safe. Yeah, we were and lucky. Save our homes. We were lucky last time, and I don't know today what has happened to other homes in some of the other areas where the fire.
wire is gone and it's still going through. But we were very fortunate here in that, uh, you know, it, the fire came through very fast and it jumped the, the highway back down over here and kept on going that way since the crater is right up over here. It burned that area significantly and further east in a lot of areas. And so that those are the, the dangers that we face here. 